whatever you want. All right, with me is Dan hey. and Tim. Hey, you're in the video. Anyway. All right, so okay. we have a Radeon card. It's, it's a nano. It's, it's a cute. nano. It's that cute. Running in DirectX 12. Dan, take it from here. Okay, so we're going to run this test here. This is the benchmark. And uh, we're just doing the normal thing and just going to get a reference point with uh, a single card in the system right now. Okay, so we're running a benchmark right now, and, and then so uh, we're just going to let it do its thing, and we will give you the numbers on how it turns out on its own. All right, so these are our results. Uh, we're running at 1600p on high settings, so you can sort of see where we're at. Um, these are all our, you know, we tried So what's the key range. number we should take away? I just probably usually like looking at the breakdown and sort of looking at like the heavy, because heavy is where you're getting slowest. And um, So the slowest it gets is 33 frames per yeah, second. Yeah, so we're getting 33 when it's heavily loaded, so that's a good example of 1600p of, of like the extreme case. Now we're running at high settings on a very high resolution here. So uh, now we're going to exit. All right. And so, uh, we're going to shut the machine down here. Get out now. Yeah, we're all ghetto here. Oh, all right, we're going to cut here, and uh, we're going to put in another video card. Wait, here we go. Are you all right, here we go. We are putting in next to the AMD right. and NVIDIA card. They're Let's together. A first ever. I guarantee no one has done this okay. before. Let's put in, well, people put two in, but we're going to... Not two of two different brands and makes and yeah. models. Let's see here. Okay. Does there a, do you have a screw for this? Oh, here. Is this a screwdriver? Yeah, it looks, it's in, it's in-ish. There's a screwdriver around here. Somewhere. There's one right here. You can see we didn't really think this through. Okay. This is super important. You need to screw. Yes. Now you'll note that we are not going to connect. There's no such thing as crossfire or slide. Yeah, or... zoom in. Look at it. Yeah, There's... they're not connected in yeah, any they're way. They're just it's other than they're both on the motherboard. Yeah, I mean, they don't even have a connector. Uh, they don't crossfire. Doesn't use that. So let's see. Oh wait, and plug it back. Okay. Hopefully right. this thing doesn't explode. All right. So now uh, we actually have both GPUs in. You can see them. Um, and you can actually, it's actually telling us we're uh, using a classic AFR mode, so we're using both one video card doing it frame, we're, we're actually rendering um, on both cards and we're swapping the frames around. So it's pretty traditional, but we're using two different vendors' video cards. So we're just gonna do the same exact test we did before and we're just gonna see what happens. All right, so we'll take what? It'll take 17 se few seconds for it to uh... Don't you want to turn off the thing in the corner so it's fair? Uh, fair? There you go. That won't make a difference. All right, getting ready to render. There we go. So Coming it's up. clearly working, right? I mean, it's using both cards right now. Yeah, well, I didn't want to cut because uh, in, in this part because you don't want anyone to think, oh, well, they cut and then they took the card out or something. And the first thing to note is just look at how smooth it's running. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Okay, so here it is. Here's the results. Okay, you can see both GPUs are in here, so we didn't any cheating here. Um, now, I guess when you splice this together, or I don't remember what all the old results were. I just remember the last one, and it was 33. It was, 30, it was like 33. 33. So you can see that we're getting pretty good scaling here um, with a Radeon with a GeForce GTX. And considering these cards are not <coughs> evenly matched, you, you wouldn't expect to see double because a, a Fury is definitely faster than a 980. I mean, a Fury Nano is definitely faster than a 980 a little bit. So you wouldn't expect to get But that's ex extremely, extremely good scaling, and I don't see any smoke or smell anything this looks like it it worked and uh i'm amazed you know but we, we didn't know that this was gonna work but it clearly is yeah this is this is a huge deal too for gamers because now you have a you can have if you have a perfectly good video card you can get and you want your game to be faster and you have windows 10 and DirectX 12 and the game supports this mode which is obviously a prerequisite you can just go out buy another card pop it in and poof well, no, hopefully not poof. Yeah, hopefully just it have... doesn't explode. But yeah, you could just buy a new, the latest new card, pop it in, whatever your old card is, we'll use it. Um, assuming it's not massively mismatched, uh, it should be good, it should make it faster. All right, so there you go, there is a first. Radeon, AMD, and Nvidia together, working together to make your gaming experience a little bit better. Okay.